All right, questions for GM head coach Derek Fisher. We'll start with Brady Klopp for SB Nation. Derek, the defense has been really strong the last few games, uh, and Amanda's defense individually has been really strong. Uh, going against a player like Tina Charles, having the season that she's having, when you try to slow her down, how much of that becomes an assignment for Natalie personally, and how much do you have to rely on really a team effort? Um, well, Natalie Gilmore says she can't guard Tina Charles tonight. Uh, Natalie White sends us her best wishes from LA, but she won't be guarding <laughs> Tina either. Um, Amanda, um, I mean, Amanda's my bad, Natalie and Derek on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Um, Appreciate it, Brady. Yeah, no, um, Amanda, you know, like she knows Tina better than we do. Um, but I also, you know, I think we we make it clear to all of our players, no one player um, is ever responsible for, you know, trying to slow down anybody on the opposing team. And, uh, you know, Tina Charles is a Hall of Fame player, uh, you know, one of the best players to ever play in this game. And she's seen it all, all the coverages, all the double teams, you know, bigger players, smaller, like, so there's only so much that you can do in terms of slowing her down. I think it's just really making her work as hard as possible to do what great players are going to do, no matter what you try and throw out there at them. So, um, but, you know, I think Amanda's, you know, she's excited, ready, you know, for the challenge and the opportunity. And, um, you know, she's just thankful to be on the court and uh, she's been a big part of our recent success. Thanks, Brady. Percy Allen, Seattle Times. Awesome. Hey. Coach, I just want to get your thoughts on um, the new WNBA scheduling format in which like teams go on the road and they play back-to-back -back games against opponents. Uh, so far, it's my understanding that LA is the only team to go on the road and win both games uh, against an opponent. And just wondering, what are the challenges in that type of a format? Um, you know, I think the biggest challenges are, uh, you know, one, you know, you're, you're on the road longer, you know, at times, uh, you know, historically in the W, you know, if you go out for a two game uh, set, you know, from Chicago to Indiana or Chicago to Minnesota, and then you're back home, you know, you fly out on Wednesday, you play Thursday, you fly to Minnesota Friday, you play Saturday, you're home Sunday. Um, so those two game sets, you know, when you leave for a two or three game trip is seven days, maybe eight uh, in total. Um, so, that, you know, the, that part of it is, is a little bit different. The, the other challenge, which is probably more impactful, is that you're playing against, you know, the best players in the world and you're coaching against the best coaches in the world in, in this game, in the women's game. And so, you know, trying to win two games against really good teams in this league is hard to do uh, because whoever wins uh, and is fortunate enough to win that first matchup, you know, you're going to get that that team's best shot, most likely the next matchup. They're not going to want to lose to you twice uh, or vice versa. You're not going to want to lose twice. So um, it presents some challenges, but, but challenges are also opportunities. And, you know, we'll be in that situation again uh, at some point, you know, even at home, we're going to have that situation where um, it's going to be difficult, you know, to think about trying to win two games against the same team. But um, if you approach it one at a time, you know, that, that'll give you your, your best shot. So we'll, we'll see how it goes as things move forward. Kareem Copeland with the Washington Post. Hey, Derek, just a quick one for you. I'm curious, uh, as you prepped for this and you sat down and watched the video of Ariel Atkins, what stood out about how she's playing this year to you? Um, I mean, other than tonight, I'm always pulling for people that are left-handed. So that, <laughs> <laughs> that stands out. Uh, but no, I think, I think Ariel has continued to round her game out. Um, you know, just a few years ago, she was, uh, you know, I think more what seemed like complimentary to some of the other stars that Washington had, and she's developed her game into, uh, you know, into being a, a star for this team and, and a player that her team can rely on consistently. So, um, you know, I think she's scoring the ball well at all three levels, you know, attacking the, the, the basket at times. Uh, mid-range pull-ups, shooting the three, um, handling the ball, you know, uh, at the top of the floor. 
um, and also defensively, you know, guarding, uh, you know, really good players on that end. So just an all-around player and, and uh, you know, a, a matchup that we're going to have to be really mindful of uh, tonight. Quick and easy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Coach, that looks like all the hands. Thank you. Thanks.